had some bloody miserable day today. It's been raining for the last 12 hours or so. Non-stop. <laughs> Funny thing is I had that air conditioner all dried out, but I guess it doesn't matter because it's low on gas. It sort of sucks. It works fine, fine for a while and then loses head pressure. Or well, the bottom of the coil just ices up and that's it. Either that or one of the reed valves and the compressor's dead. Oh well. I'm just doing a bit of uh, welding work instead. I'm making a frame for that blue diesel engine, the Chinese diesel. Uh, just using some scrap angle iron and, oh sorry, C channel. Just going to weld that up together, brace it up, put caster wheels on it and then work on mounting the engine on it. That's today's project. Now this is what I normally use for stick welding. Here the, the Welding Industries Australia Ostark. Uh, what grade is this one? 13S. Normal mild steel. Sig weld, Sig weld Satin Craft 13. These are the best ones I reckon. Second to Ostark. Uh, these are fantastic rods. I paid about 10 bucks for this pack off a uh, machinery surplus dealer. I haven't even opened it yet. There are 2.5 mil rods. These are, I think, at 3.2 mil, yeah, and they're specials. They're about $35 a pack. You only get about 10 of them. And this is hard servicing rod. I use this to resurface and grind back the uh, granulator blades and anvil plate. It's called a hard facing rod, a brace cord 700. It's a very hard, hard wearing, abrasion resistant stuff for earth moving and cultivating components and things resurfacing grater blades, granulator blades, augers, that sort of thing. Good stuff.
that's one finished space frame. I've uh, bolted the wheels on with the original umpy insulation strips. They came off an old pull cover winding machine. All stainless steel. I pre-painted the underside of the frame too because I don't really intend on taking it apart again. I'll just get the uh, masking tape and everything out and mask off the wheels and spray the inside afterwards once I welded the motor mounts and compressor mounts back on. That's the next thing. I'm going to mount the diesel engine on it. I've got two fixed casters and two swivel. Nice. Now I'm getting close to mounting the engine. I'm cutting some cross rails to drill the uh, mounting bolts. I'm using my old hoist too. I found this one a couple of weeks ago. Old vintage screw hoist. Made in Melbourne by ABC. One half ton. Still works really well. Brilliant old hoist. That one there's a bit better. A lot easier to use, but uh, two hoists is better than one. That's all I can say. <laughs> This thing was made out of an old washing machine, British Thompson Houston one. There's the main drive, that used to be the uh, drum drive, but all those gears and things have been taken out. Plugged up with a bit of broom handle. And it's just running off the ringer drive. I didn't build this myself, but whoever built it put a lot of time into it. Down feed is a uh, surface control cylinder from a uh, Sperry Gyroscope Company autopilot system. It's even got US Army uh, tags on it. There's a uh, hydraulic surface control for Type A3 autopilot, US Air Forces, US Army, spec number and serial numbers. Of course they've cut the valve block off it and plugged it all up so it's just a, a damper pretty much. Very expensive damper. Blade is blunt as hell though. <laughs> That's why it's taking so long. Poor old thing. Alright, well I just spent about 15 minutes cleaning all the fish and chip oil gunk out of this diesel engine. I mean, fish and chip oil is probably cheaper than normal diesel, but God, it's a waste of time when it comes to cleaning and getting the damn thing started. So this is just a quick test fire using normal diesel. I had the injection line off and the injector out, primed and cleaned. And I guarantee this thing will start first time because I'm not running crappy cooking oil. Decomp open, I know I've got oil pressure. Okay, not first time, but close enough. Should hit pop a little bit. That's just a bit of extra mass to keep the damn thing moving. Not a photocopy of flywheel. But it helped. 
I'm not going to run any longer than that. Cause, yeah. It's not warm, but I don't want to cook it. <laughs>